So recently there was a uh, heckler that was uh, that had recently got kicked out of an LGBT pride event by President Obama. Now, of course, uh, a lot of media outlets are reporting the side of the story where Obama slams down this very disrespectful heckler. Uh, and I kind of want to do something different than that uh, because I think that she had a really good message. Well, first, let's get to know her a little bit more. Now, her name is Genesis Gutierrez, who is a transgender undocumented immigrant. Now, uh, she is uh, actually works for the campaign Not One More, which is basically railing against deportations, which, of course, President Obama has been very, very good at doing. He's been doing more, more deportations than President Bush. So he's been deporting a lot of people. Now, uh, he's also been deporting a lot of LGBT, a lot of transgendered, undocumented immigrants, which, of course, she is against, and her group is fighting to raise awareness for, which is why, of course, her reasoning for heckling the president at this function. Now, uh, Gutierrez had actually wrote, uh, wrote why she did this in an article in the Washington Blade. Now, uh, she says... The White House gets to make the decision whether it keeps us safe. There is no pride in how LGBTQ and transgender immigrants are treated in this country. The president wants to celebrate with us. He should release the LGBT immigrants locked up in detention centers immediately. Now, she was also outraged at the lack of leadership Obama had demonstrated, and uh, he had no concern for the way that LGBT detainees are suffering. As a trans woman, the misgendering and physical and sexual abuse, these are serious crimes that we face in detention centers. She says, she further says, how can that be ignored? It's heartbreaking to see the LGBTQ community I am part of turning their back on me and the LGBTQ people in detention centers. How can they tolerate that kind of abuse? Now, there are some serious issues as she, that she brings up when it comes to the LGBT community. And uh, I want to go to this, and this is an article in Think Progress, and this is what a lot of other the media outlets have missed when it comes to this story. Now, uh, there's some disastrous facts here. According to Think Progress, LGBTQ immigrant detainees are uniquely vulnerable to abuse, including sexual assault, while in custody. Now, we all know that people held in uh, ICE detention centers, immigrant detention centers, aren't exactly getting the best of treatment. And in a way, we kind of treat them like animals for breaking the law. Now, we have to remember, and, and of course, a lot of conservatives are like, yeah, way to treat those people that break the law. How dare you cross over the border? You illegal. Well, just because you break the law doesn't mean you're not a human being. And it doesn't mean that you should be treated like a human being. And it's even more so important when you're talking about people who are even more vulnerable that are part of the LGBT community. And uh, as I said, we do not treat them very well. We treat them worse in these detention centers than regular immigrants, which is bad. It's really bad. Between October and 2009 and March 2013, 40% of sexual al- assault allegations went unreported by federal uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers in these detention centers. A GAO office report found in prison settings, non-heterosexual prison inmates report sexual assault at higher rates than heterosexual inmates. A finding backed up by the Bureau of Justice Statistics, which found that almost 40% of transgender inmates in prisons are sexually assaulted. And it took nine years after the implementation of the Prison Rape Elimination Act for guidelines to include protections for LGBT immigrant detainees. Now, some facilities also do some sort of what they call administrative segregation. You know what that is? Solitary confinement for people who are LGBT. Amazing. In an attempt to protect them, quote, from the general population. Now, we know that there's a lot of deleterious effects um, to, uh, I'm sorry, detrimental effects to isolation. To solitary confinement. It literally drives you crazy. No, no, no. We're going to put them in there to protect them. That's not good protection. You're literally driving them insane. 
by putting them in solitary confinement. How is that protection? There are also cases, according to the report, where transgender women are housed in men's detention facilities. There was one high-profile case, they point out, Marchwai Lee Gamino. Leo Gamino spoke about how she was subjected to bullying, lewd comments, and threats of rape, and even after she was raped, detention officers reportedly told her, deal with it. Another person, Nicola Hernandez Polenco, a transgender woman from Guatemala, was forced to shower with other detainees and was also reportedly sexually assaulted. There's also LGBT and HIV positive detainees who receive inadequate medica uh, medical care in immigration detention facilities. And there are also there, there are many instances of transgender immigrants that are uh, undocumented dying while shackled to a bed. There was one of those uh, in 2007. Other things that they're denied hormone treatment um, and just all sorts of really horrible things. So look, she brings up Gutierrez brings up some excellent points about this. As I said, I, I could not agree with her more on the substance of her argument. How she did it, I think, took away from her message. But at the same time, her message is powerful and it needs to get heard and it needs to get over the media din of just, hey, let's make a clickbait about Obama kicking out this uh, heckler. And I think you really have to cut through that message and really kind of get to the core of why she did what she did. And I think it makes it a little bit more understandable. She did the right thing. She says the right things, but she did it in the wrong way. But nonetheless, I think that it's important to tell her story, to, say, to, to talk about her message, and to really get the facts about there, about how undocumented immigrant, uh, who are, uh, immigrants who are transgendered and going through our detainment system at the border our terrible immigration system, well, they need someone to speak for them, and they do need advocates, and I think it's important to point out uh, the problems inherent in our system and to see about really getting them fixed. So I guess in one point, at some point, she was successful at getting out her message.